Alright. Hello everyone, my name is Sentinel and welcome back to Lisa the Painful and um Yeah, happy New Year's! So what's Gooseman got to say? In my mind I just pretend my brain is my only true friend. Anyway, where do we I think we finished up this area, didn't we? Yeah, because that was the construction area. So we are completely done with that. We have quite a few areas to go through now. Because the TNT should unlock quite a bit for us. Oh, oh, oh my god. Alright, that's a lot of wearies. Let's go through here. Unfortunately, it was pretty necessary to stop by there. We were a little low on HP, uh, but also... We have to do that anyway for Geese Man, so can't complain. Alright, well, might as well start down the line. T -t oh, it can- alright, well, not that one. What about this one? What is in here? <laughs> I love- oh, I love that. Oh. Oh, we actually don't do enough to- huh. I thought for sure we would- oh, cheese legs! Oh, okay, no, we're fine. Everything worked out, and we got a le oh no, wow, Brad is so close to leveling up. Okay. It's actually pretty good that we do this because we do need the XP so we can face Tiger Man at some point. Not too sure when, but at some point. Okay, that's not looking good. Uh, yeah, that's not looking great. Okay, it's just glaring, which is fine. Alright, here we go. We have an interesting party setup because it's not super high damage but it's also incredibly weak in terms of hp god brad is basically capped at a thousand hp i really don't want to be using abilities i'm gonna try and save up sp here oh stun okay we're not wow that's a lot <laughs> like 500 oh. wow i uh huh i did not expect that Running without a healer is going to be kind of odd. Because we're going to be super reliant on items, and I don't think we've really run into shopkeepers. I can't remember the last time we've seen one. Party foul, here we go. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh wow, wait. <laughs> okay. Never mind, we are a high damage party. I take it back. Good job. Oh! Whoa, 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 hi! Oh! Hello! We tend to stay over here in these parts. The swamp holds many secrets. Things aren't always what they seem. Trust your gut. Huh. Weird. We actually have the thing we need to recruit Garth? Or, uh, Bo? God, I keep thinking Garth and Bo. I keep swapping the two around. We have what we need to recruit Bo. But we're actually gonna wait, because I think someone said it's worth waiting a bit for it. I'm not sure why, I'm just going to trust what you guys tell me. Good damage. That was pretty good damage. There we go. So I think we are... Mm, I think we need to wait on this area. Because this is an entire side area. So we have... Uh, the little bar to the left where we recruit Bo. We have the Honeybee Inn all the way to the right. And we have the Fishman Village. And I think we'll come back. They said to come through here after we do the uh, the next sequence with Buddy. And uh, Buzzo, that's his name, Buzzo. So after we do that next sequence, apparently we're supposed to come through here, recruit all these people, and then we can continue on. I'm not sure why. Thankfully, there are no spoilers. I just know that much. Oh, you know what would be really interesting on top of this? New Year's resolutions. What is everyone's New Year's resolution? It's something that no one really talks about, I feel. <laughs> because they're usually they're usually never followed up on. I think my goal this year is to at least, alright, at least a video a day. I'm hoping. Now, no promises, but that's my goal. A video a day, and I'd like to start streaming. I think that'd be pretty fun. Making it somewhat of a consistent thing. Not too sure with how much time I have, but it'd be pretty cool to do. Uh, let's do headbutt. Oh, here we go. We, sh we shouldn't need it. Okay, we might actually need it. <laughs> Kill? Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Hey, buddy. 
Don't trust those skull guys. They don't know how to use explosives. I think. Oh, these guys down there? Yeah, definitely not. Won't trust those guys with the ten foot hole stick thing. I don't know what I'm saying. I wouldn't trust them though. I actually don't think we ever Yeah, I don't think we gave them TNT in our first playthrough. So it actually might be interesting to see what happens if we give them TNT in this one. But I don't think we use TNT after this area, so it might actually be okay to do. Oh! This is the uh This is the science lab area place. Oh god. All right. Yep. I hated this area. It was super interesting and super neat in terms of like lore and the like, but also incredibly unsettling. Blood makes it too difficult to read. There are all these creeps, all these monsters, all these random notes. Very ominous. Incredibly terrifying. Oh my god. Oh, I hate him. Look at him. He's just waiting for us to. God, he's got a, a lab coat and he's gonna run at us. And, oh. Oh. oh! God, I expected it and I still. I <laughs> said, God. Alright, anyway, let's just knock him over. Here we go. There, perfect. Terrible, actually. Wow. Oh, God. Man, I'm glad. Oh. I'm glad they don't attack often. Oh, cheese legs finish. Oh, okay, or not. Cheese legs is kind of falling off in damage, but that's kind of to be expected because he's just. He's a beagle. I don't know what else anyone expected out of him. Oh, a bottle. It's stuck to the table. Oh, or not. Oh, it's kind of like uh, Marty's table chair setup. Domestic jerky. Can we go in here or we cannot? So only Brad and Birdie had cravings there. I'm not too sure how many more party members have cravings on our team. I feel like it's still like a pretty decent amount, right? Cigarette. Head out here. Won't budge. Oh my god. I feel like the mod added in more drawings. I feel like this is a... Uh, what makes it too difficult to read? Look at that guy. Oh god. Joy mutants. Joy mutant creeps sounds terrifying. This is still somewhat readable. Researcher's personal note. Sick of living in this plastic. Seeing the same thing every day. The sky. Same people. It's disgusting. I hate. This is a waste of... Dr. Yato's a madman. Stupid polka dot. War should not like this. Huh. Now, if I remember right, I don't think we're ever given an idea of who wrote this. I think it was one of the researchers we run into here. They've like turned creeps or I think the creeps are experiments or like people that were experimented on. I'm not too sure. It's been a while. I'm not too sure. I don't think the game goes too in depth on it. Because I think the most important thing to take away from this area is basically Dr. Yato's a fuckhead. And that's that's about it. What is this? Oh, it's a chair. I thought it was a stack of magazines. I was about to freak out if we couldn't take them with us. All right, well, it's a very interesting area, though. I oh, my... Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Why do they always run out like that? A little trick card here. Slice them up. Party foul. Not too bad. I really like our new party composition, too. I'm really excited to see what he's on. Jack and uh, Dick. <laughs> Pink Ranger, I should say do in the future because they have some pretty interesting toolkits. Yizan especially, I've seen people comment that he's better in this version, which is great. Oh god, alright. First Joy Mutant with this party comp. I'm not too excited because I'm... Oh, they like to do that insta-kill a lot. They really like to do the insta-kill. So we're going to go for a headbutt to stun. How much HP was... Oh, okay, that's a lot. Let's do magic hat. Uh, cat, I heard someone says stun. Oh yeah, fluffy wuffy. Here we go. And machine gun thrust. <laughs> what is that? God, why is that even a... Oh! What? Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, trick card for burning. Three wishes. And party foul. Here we go. Look how cute he is. Look at cute dog. Oh, Rage on the Zon might actually be really strong if he crits or just 
Or not. That's fine. Okay. A lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. We really need to stun. I uh, love it. Say, uh, um, I think trick art again. Causes bleeding. Paralysis. I feel like paralysis is good, but once again, I'm not too sure how often stuns or anything that work actually affect these guys. So I think we just go for damage. Not too bad. Jack definitely seems to do the most out of our team now. Uh, we're gonna have Brad get Dick back up, so we're gonna use our perfume on him. There's no point in actually using a fancy perfume because he's going to get one-shotted anyway, so whatever. Ooh, the crit, that actually... Ooh, this might actually be a waste because we could have killed... Okay, cool. All right, not too bad of a fight. Lost the per... Oh, he died to dog damage. Nice. Ooh, all right, so four level ups. Very good. Fireball three is really strong. Magic hat two, perfect. And nothing. Oh, oh yeah, I keep forgetting that our party members also level up. That's such a nice thing. Dr. Lamont's notes. So Dr. Yada's joy project is a complete failure, and I'm glad. None of the experiments had any military benefit. I can't wait to go home. Some of the other scientists are staying behind. As far as I'm concerned, they are sick. It shouldn't be legal. I want to feel her again. Smash her face in over and over again. It trolls off, making less and less sense. Wasn't that just the doctor we fought? I think it was. And then they kind of wrote this note, fell over, and turned to the Joy Mutant Monster. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh, this is just sad. We're just gonna go all out. Just to end it now. Okay. So weird it does damage, but whatever. Okay, not bad. Oh, wait. Oh, that's really cool. So they changed fireball. Gainer, headspin. All right, some cool new abilities. Got a locket. So we actually need to go through our inventory here. Change this. So locket might actually be better. That's overall better. We'll give that to him. Cap Paul, leave that there. And we give him the unlucky feather for his agility. We also got a lab coat, but I don't think that... Oh, we can. Nice. Special defense and defense go up in general. I'm gonna give it to Jack. Increase the overall SP count. I have to say, one of my favorite things as well with this so far has to be the fact that so much gets changed. So, like, the lab coat increases overall SP count instead of just overall defenses and the like. I don't remember if that's new or not, but I want to say it's new. I'm just going to assume. Or it's his hard hat. There's some written on it. Dear son, don't drive bulldozers. You'll never succeed. Oh, well, that's sad. Wow, Jesus. Wow. So we can actually give that to someone who we want to be tankier. I feel like, I feel like this is worth. There's only a slight change in stats. I'm gonna give it to these on. See if that helps him out. Oh, uh, we should actually probably go and heal as well while we're here. There we go. Everybody's looking better. Wait. Wasn't there a... Oh. Uh, there's a crow here before, right? Right? Am I... Not crazy. Yeah, there, I thought there was a crow where you could save up here. I guess not. Well, I mean, we got the locket. We went through everything. I think we've... Kind of gone through all the houses, right? I think that's it. It's one of those masks. See a small heart-shaped hole. Use the locket? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, we never went in here in our original playthrough because... Why is... Why, why was he doing that? <laughs> okay, anyway. We never went in here in our original playthrough because we weren't playing on joy mode. Or pain mode. <laughs> I'm so caught up on the joy. I mean, can you blame me? I got it down in my heart, but seriously, we never went down here. I'm actually kind of curious. I never looked at anything that comes through playing pain mode, simply because of time and playing other games. So I'm kind of curious to see what is down here and what's new, because we didn't get to see it before. Whoa, whoa, that's a new attack. All right, it worked. Oh, the one time we get the stun. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Great. 
What is this? Oh! Hi! Oh, there are a lot of creeps in here. Oh, there are a lot of creeps. Um, so head spin makes two allies fall- There's two enemies fall down. Cool backflip kick. Oh, let's do it. Let me see it. Backflip kick. Oh, that's awesome. What a cool animation. Oh, that does not do any damage when he's- Oh, when you're suffering withdrawal, it just doesn't work, but still, really cool. It's gonna be helpful later on, I'm sure. Not bad, not bad. Come on. Come on. No, oh, he's gonna live. Oh, he's gonna live. Alright. Uh, if somehow he doesn't die, we'll go in horse stance here. But there you go. I just took one hit. <laughs> Not bad to XP either. So we're actually going to before he gets us. Get some SP back. Let's get his up. Uh we'll just go ahead and do it for Braswell. I know he has horse stance, but whatever. Tackle. Trick card here. Here we go. Oh, I really need to be using Dick's abilities. I just I, I'm trying to save up the SP, but it's kind of just a waste, honestly. Or TP, I should say. She's like trying to do it himself. Okay, nice. Not bad. I'm getting some serious Fallout vibes. Mindless sheep. Repulsive waste. Violent soldiers. Oh, so the creeps were meant to be soldiers. Wait. Okay, wait, what is... <gasps> wait, did the military or Dr. Yato create fish people? Repulsive waste. Mindless sheep. Uh, we see these guys on the resort. I think these are fish people. These are the creeps. My favorite, which is, is that a, it's kind of hard to tell what it is because the coloration, but I'm assuming it's a joy mutant, right? Oh my, there are so many of these guys. There are so many. Okay. Here we go. All right. They fought off their cravings. They're doing a bit better. Shimby is bad. Jack leveled up. This is actually really good XP for us. We'll Probably be able to tackle Tiger Man in the next episode. God, that does no damage. What? We're really- Okay, we need to use specials. I'm in the mindset of saving our stuff, but I- It's very quickly becoming clear that we need to be using abilities. Oh, or it'll miss anyway. Interesting. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, he lived. There we go. Oh, now he crits. Enough to solo him. All right. <laughs> and there's so many of them. Here we go. Okay. High damage party. Just have to use your skills. Not bad. I have to wonder, is this actually high damage though? We don't really have a frame, right? We don't have a an other team to compare between the two. Whoa, that does seem like high damage. Almost leveled up again. All right. So, oh my God, why? What is that? Why do they? Why do they run like that? Party foul. All right. This is. <laughs> this is something. We're clearing them out though. That's what matters. So more bottles. We can grab these. We have so many bottles, just not. So wait, were people? I assume with the ball, someone's living here, maybe- Oh! He found two firebombs, and a peacemaker. I don't think anyone's really using guns, we have Nern, but, yeah. Alright. That's fine. Well, hello? Sorry, darling, but my actions are just... This was never about you. It was about her, always was. You were, in the end, a pawn. But I thank you, for you've helped me achieve all that I've dreamed of for so long. Goodbye. <gasps> oh my god. She is dead. Oh man, I love that the game has set up everybody to say he is dead up until you get to this one corpse and you get to finally see she is dead. So I have to assume that from this note and everything we know about Dr. Yotto, this is Buddy's mom. Right? Oh my god. And this would explain how Buddy was dropped off in the apocalypse and how she survived. She was in this bunker. 
Oh my god, he killed his wife? Oh! We brought dialogue? Okay, or at least just an acceptance, right? An acknowledgement of it? Oh, that's crazy getting to see Brad respond. Wow! I, uh... Wow! I completely understand why people wanted me to go through the pain mode and see that. Wow! Uh... That definitely explains a lot of things! That explains almost everything I wanted to know about Buddy now. We know where she came from, we know more about the scientists, we know about the last woman alive. Or formerly alive, like one of the last women, because she probably survived into the apocalypse. Be surviving in this bunker. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Alright, well. I think we're on to Wally, right? Here we go, next area.